So my first transplant was, was back in 2012. Um, it was a big deal for me. Uh, my mom and I, we drove out to California and we spent a lot of money uh, to get this big transplant. It was like 3,000 grafts with a big strip cut out from, uh, from the back of my head. Uh, but the results were kind of terrible. It basically looked like nothing had been done after a year. Uh, and it was very upsetting for me. So when Will first uh, came to see me, this is back in 2014, it was very clear to me that he was distraught. This was a very, very kind young man who unfortunately fell into the hands of a surgeon that really should never have done surgery on him. He didn't have the appropriate donor to do the type of procedure that was done on him. He had a case done with a strip excision and apparently over 3,000 grafts. So when I came in to see Dr. McGrath, um, one of the things they covered is that they wanted to get my hair prepared for surgery, for future surgeries. And that's something that I that wasn't covered by the previous doctor. Um, so one of the first thing we did was do a cell uh, on top of my head and to get my hair nice and thick and ready for, uh, for transplantation. When he first arrived uh, to me, for the most part, I had nothing. Um, we realized right away that we had to pull out all of our tools. So obviously we got him on the medication therapy, a combination of finasteride and minoxidil. He had not been optimized prior. And we also treated him with, uh, at the time, uh, A-cell PRP injection therapy. And he did very well. And nine months later when he showed up, I would say he had at least a 50 to 75% improvement. We were able to get him to a point where he now had become a better candidate for me to actually go in and try to do surgery and try to improve what had been done wrong in that first go around. The transplant that I had in California left a really ugly strip uh, scar on the back of my head, which the Dr. McGrath's team did their best to uh, minimize it, and they did quite a bit. Uh, but they also did, um, after the two transplants on top of my head, they also did an FUE to cover up that strip scar and that has been life-changing because like I can wear my hair really short on the sides um, and it kind of opens up like whole other opportunities for hairstyling for me. So the exosome therapy that we're going to use today, we're going to be utilizing a product called Exaflow. Exaflow is a proprietary product from Direct Biologics which is harvested from mesenchymal stem cells or bone marrow aspirate. Very, very important. Exosomes can be harvested from various parts of the body. I have found in my studies that the exaflow from mesenchymal stem cells is far superior. Where we are right now is uh, in the donor region, in the back of his head, we've pretty much utilized as much as we can such that he can still have some nice coverage in the back and not have it look like decimated donor. So today what we're going to be doing, if you notice, Will has a tremendous beard. So we are going to take and use the underside of his beard hair as our harvest point. We're going to see if we can get maybe 800 or 1,000 grafts today using beard hair. And then we're going to use that hair and come in some specific zones throughout the mid scalp uh, to try to give him some more density in some areas where it's still just a little bit thin. That is going to be the surgical component of what we're attempting to do today and I think it should go very well. I think uh, with the density of his donor we should be able to get at least 800. If we can get a thousand that would be great but we'll see what we can get safely. Obviously keeping him safe is my prime concern. In conjunction with that, which I'm very excited about, we are going to also place some exosomes into Will's scalp. We're going to use about five cc's and utilize it throughout this central core. He's pretty happy with his hairline and compared to where he started, obviously, you'll all agree that he looks much better. So we're going to do a little bit of exosomes along the, the temporal recesses and through the mid scalp and I'm very confident that that is going to give him a significant amount of improvement as well. So combined with what we're going to be able to harvest with FUE from his beard hair 
as well as the application of the exosomes, I think we're going to have a, a real winner here. And hopefully this will be it. We'll get him fine-tuned and we'll be at the end of our journey and he'll be happy and be able to move on from here forward. Thank you.